Biography of Kruba Aliyah Chart, The Peacock King Kruba Aliyah Chart is the abbot of Wet Sang Kufo Tian in Chiang Rai, Thailand. He is also known as the Peacock King because of the peacocks that often appear around him, including white peacocks, which are considered to be very auspicious in Thailand. Kruba Aliyah Chart was born on January 9, 1981, in Noi Village, Chiang Mai Province, Thailand. He began learning the Buddha Dharma at 12 at Wat Chai Chana in Lampun Province. At 17, he became a novice monk under Kruba Zhao Tiang at Wat Chamonkal. Kruba Aliyah Chart learned significantly from Kruba Zhao Tiang, his teacher at Wat Chamonkal. Kruba Zhao Tiang was a highly respected monk and a skilled practitioner who spread the teachings of the Buddhist Dharma. Kruba Zhao Tiang was a patient and compassionate teacher and he was always willing to share his knowledge with his students. He taught Kruba Aliyah Chart about the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and other essential teachings of the Buddha. He also taught him the proper way to meditate. He taught him how to focus his mind, how to control his breath, and how to let go of distractions. Kruba Zhao Chiang also taught him about the Ten Precepts that monks must follow. These precepts include abstaining from harming living beings, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying, and taking intoxicants. He also taught Kruba Aliyah Chart how to read Buddhist scriptures and the secrets of his craft and skills to make amulets. Soon after, Kruba Aliyah Chart's decision to travel alone to the mountains of Phrae province for his dharma practice was unconventional and reflected his deep commitment to his spiritual path. This retreat into solitude and simplicity allowed him to immerse himself fully in meditation, introspection, and the study of the dharma, away from the distractions and influences of everyday life. Living in harsh conditions, such as the elements and the lack of modern conveniences, further enhanced his practice by fostering discipline, resilience, and a deeper appreciation for the simple things in life. The challenges of his surroundings likely strengthened his determination and deepened his understanding of the Dharma's teachings. Kruba Liya Chart is known for his strict discipline and dedication to his practice. He is also known for his compassion and his willingness to help others. He has performed many miracles for his devotees, including healing the sick, helping people to find jobs, and bringing prosperity to businesses. He is famous for his blessings to improve wealth, overall luck, and health. One of Kruba Aliyah Chart's most famous stories is that he once isolated himself and meditated for 13 days in a 3-meter deep underground hole without eating or drinking. Thus broke the record in Thailand for the most days in meditation without eating or drinking. Kruba Aliyah Chart is a highly respected monk, and people from all over the world visit his temple. According to his biography, Kruba Aliyah Chart's mother had two dreams when she was pregnant with him. In the first dream, she saw a big white yant cloth. The yant cloths are sacred cloths inscribed with Buddhist symbols and prayers. They are often used for protection and blessings. The fact that the yant cloth in his mother's dream was white suggests that it was a sign of purity and goodness. In the second dream, Kruba Aliyah Chart's mother dreamt of entering a bedroom that was painted in gold. Gold is a symbol of wealth and prosperity. This dream suggests that her newborn would be a blessed child who would bring good fortune to his family. Kruba Aliyah Chart's mother's dreams are significant as he was destined to be a unique child. The yant cloth and the golden bedroom symbolize auspiciousness and good luck. Kruba Aliyah Chart's life has been blessed, and he has brought good fortune to many people. It is important to note that Kruba Aliyah Chart's dreams are just one example of the many stories and legends about him. His followers believe that he is a highly enlightened monk with special powers. They attribute many miracles to him, such as healing the sick and predicting the future. Whether or not you believe in Kruba Aliyah Chart's special powers, there is no doubt that he is a remarkable individual. He is a dedicated monk who has helped many people in need. His teachings have inspired many people to improve their lives. Kruba Aliyah Chart's story is heartwarming. It shows that he has always been kind and compassionate, even from a young age. His experience of seeing the fish struggling in the fisherman's net sparked his curiosity about the world and his place in it. He began to ask himself questions about why animals have to suffer and what he could do to help them. Kruba Aliyah Chart secretly releasing the animals he saw his father and neighbors catch is also significant. They show that he was willing to stand up for what he believed in, even if it meant risking getting in trouble. 
This courage and conviction have served him well throughout his life, and they have helped him to become the respected spiritual leader that he is today. Kruba's upbringing on a farm helped to shape him into the compassionate and hard-working person he is today. Working on the farm taught him the importance of hard work, responsibility, and resilience. It also taught him the value of life and caring for all living things. Kruba Aliyah Chant's parents were farmers, so he learned the importance of hard work from a young age. He was their best helper, and he took pride in his work. He learned how to farm, water, fertilize, and harvest rice straw and vegetables. He also learned how to care for animals and live harmoniously with nature. Kruba Aliyah Chant upbringing on a farm also helped him to develop a deep appreciation for life, and he learned to respect all living things. Kruba Aliyah Chart's love of Buddhism was evident from a young age. When his mother was busy with her work, he would help his mother send food to the monks in the temple, and he would often go to the temple to learn from them. Kruba's childhood was marked by his deep devotion to Buddhism and his love of learning. Even at a young age, he was more proficient in reciting Buddhist scriptures than other children of the same age. He also loved to make Buddha statues out of mud. His friends would laugh at him and ask whether he wanted to be a monk, but he never answered. It is clear that he had a deep connection to Buddhism, even as a child, which showed his deep respect for the Buddha and his teachings. Kruba Aliyah Chart's journey to becoming a monk is genuinely inspiring. His determination and perseverance in the face of his mother's resistance show his deep commitment to his faith. His mother's refusal to allow him to be ordained as a monk is understandable. She wanted him to finish his junior high school and to help at home, as his eldest brother was weak in health. But after his mother learned and understood his thoughts, she agreed to let him be ordained as a monk. However, Kruba Aliyah Chart's unwavering desire to become a monk eventually convinced her mother to change her mind. Kruba Aliyah Chart's story reminds us that we should never give up on our dreams, no matter our challenges. When Kruba Aliyah Chart was ordained as a novice, he began his formal training in the Buddhist Dharma. He learned about meditation and ethics and began to develop his spiritual practice. He also learned about the practical aspects of monastic life, such as how to care for the temple and how to interact with the laity. Kruba Aliyah Chart also spent time helping out around the temple. He would do chores such as cleaning, cooking, and gardening. He also helped to teach the other novices and to support the senior monks. Kruba Aliachart was a dedicated and diligent novice. He was always eager to learn and to grow. He was also kind and compassionate to others, and he was always willing to help those in need. After Kruba Aliachart completed his formal training in the Buddhist Dharma, he continued his studies and practiced independently. He traveled to different parts of Thailand and Myanmar to visit temples and learn from other monks. He also spent time in retreats in the forest, focusing on one's spiritual practice, meditating in austerities, and developing one's concentration and mindfulness. He also began to teach others about the Dharma and to help them to develop their spiritual practices. He also began to perform various ceremonies and rituals, such as blessings and exorcisms, and people from all over Thailand and Myanmar came to seek his help. His work has had a profound impact on the lives of many people. After he returned from his retreat in the forest, Kruba Aliyah Chart continued his work of teaching and helping others. He also wrote books and articles on Buddhist teachings. In addition, he continued to develop his spiritual practice and deepen his understanding of the Buddhist Dharma. Kruba also began to use his spiritual powers to help others. He became known for his ability to heal the sick, to cast out evil spirits, and to perform other miraculous acts. He also used his powers to help people in need, such as by providing them with food, clothing, and shelter. He helped people who were possessed by evil spirits to regain their sanity and live a normal life. He also helped people to find jobs and to overcome their financial difficulties. Kruba Aliyah Chart was inspired to make amulets by another teacher, Kruba Chan Tip, who was also a skilled amulet maker. Kruba Aliyah Chart believed that amulets could be used to protect people from harm and to bring them good luck and prosperity. Kruba learned the art of amulet making from Kruba Chan Tip and other experienced amulet makers. He also studied the ancient texts on amulet making and the properties of different materials. Kruba Aliyah Chart was a quick learner, and he soon became a skilled amulet maker in his own right. People believe that his amulets can help them to overcome their challenges and to achieve their goals. 
his spiritual power is a source of great comfort and inspiration to his followers. After that, Kruba Aliya Chart started making amulets. He had developed several spiritual powers during his retreat, and he wanted to use these powers to help others. Kruba learned how to make amulets from many different sources. He studied the ancient Thai texts on amulets, and he also learned from other monks who were skilled in amulet making. Kruba Aliya Chart's amulets are known for their power and effectiveness. He uses various materials to make his amulets, including metals, gems, and sacred herbs. He also uses his spiritual mantras, powers, and blessings to empower his amulets. Kruba Aliya Chart's amulets are worn by people all over Thailand and around the world. They are believed to bring good luck, wealth, health, and protection. Kruba Aliya chart amulets often feature the peacock as a design element. The peacock is a significant symbol in many cultures, and it holds particular meaning in the context of Kruba's teachings. In Buddhism, the peacock is often associated with beauty, wisdom, and compassion. It is also seen as a symbol of royalty and good fortune. These qualities are all reflected in Kruba Aliya chart's amulets, designed to bring blessings to their wearers. The peacock is also a personal symbol for Kruba Aliya Chart. He is often called the peacock king due to his deep connection to the bird. He believes that the peacock represents the beauty and potential within each of us, and they are believed to bring good fortune to those who possess them. The peacock amulets have become popular and sought after among Kruba Aliya Chart's followers and those who appreciate the bird symbolism. The following is the mantra of Kruba Aliya Chant's worshipping spells for his sacred objects, a powerful way to connect with the spiritual realm and receive blessings from sacred objects and angels. By concentrating, praying, and wishing, you can create a positive and receptive space for blessings to flow into your life. Reciting the mantra three times before carrying the sacred object around your neck reinforces your intention and strengthens the connection between you and the object. Worshipping Spells for Sacred Objects by Kruba Aliya Chant Concentrate one's mind with your prayer and wish. Recite the mantra three times before carrying the sacred object around your neck. Sacred things and angels will grant your wishes as desired. The Peacock King, Kruba Aliya Chant Worship Spell Now let us chant the preliminary prayer. Before chanting to any Thai Buddhist statue or amulet. First, chant three times of this initial mantra. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddharsa. Namo tasa pakawato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa pakawato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa pakawato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Sambuddhasa ariya citto. จะมหาลาโพพุทโธลาพังสัพเพชะนาพระหูชะนาราชาปุริโสอิถิโยนามังอิมังกายะพันธะนางอธิฐามินะชาลิติพุทธสังมิอิสะวาสุนะมะพะ
ราชาปุริโสอิถีโยนามังอิมังกายะพันธนางอะทิถามิณชาลิติพุทธสังมิอิสะวาสุณมะพะทะอิติปิโสวิเสเสอิอิเสเสพุทธนาเมอิอิเมนาพุทธตังโสอิอิโสตังพุทธปิติอิ May the blessings of Kruba a l i y a Chart Sacred Charm bring you peace, prosperity, and spiritual growth. May it guide you on your journey and help you to overcome any obstacles you may face. Thank you.